I can't be mixy when iffy to Bob and 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you roll on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side. I don't know if you thinking I'm blind. Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes. Done with your efforts. I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson. That's worth it the wise. Dubbing the mixes I'm mixing. I know hey, what's going on? This is Brian with Superman's Comics. And in this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday. May 1st, 2019. I also want to take this time to give a huge shout out to my newest Patreon member, Alan Townsend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon member and supporting my channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Simple Man's Comics. A lot of great books this week. DC has the Year of the Villain, has Deceased coming out. Marvel continues with War of the Realms some great indie picks. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you guys what I got. We kick this week off with Adventures of Super Sons number 10. Superboy and Robin head into their final battle with Rex Luthor, but Rex is ready as he has a brand new army of shiny young supervillains waiting at his disposal. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 number 1, the 80th anniversary of Batman, collides with the 35th anniversary of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the concluding Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy. We have a regular cover by Freddie Williams II. There's also a regular price variant by Kevin Eastman. Batman number 70. This is part one to The Fall and the Fallen. Batman escapes his nightmares only to wind up in a whole other bad dream. He's locked in Arkham Asylum with his worst enemies. We have a regular cover by Andy Kubert. There's also a regular price variant by Lionel Francis Yu. Deceased number one. A mysterious technovirus has been released on Earth, infecting 600 million people and turning them into instant, violent, monstrous engines of destruction. We have a regular cover by Greg Capullo. There's a regular price Francesco Matina variant and a regular price Yasmin Putri variant, as well as a regular priced blank variant. As well as a crap load of store exclusives that are going to be floating around out there. DC's Year of the Villain number one. Evil is winning. Lex Luthor and the Legion of Doom conspire with cosmic gods bending mankind toward a dark destiny. Elsewhere, the Scourge of Leviathan spreads unchecked, seizing power in every corner of the world. And all the while, the Batman are last busy with themselves and the shadows, aligned with no one yet, with sinister plans for all. There's going to be a regular cover. There's also an incentive... Earth Germ Cheetah variant, an incentive Alex Maleev Lex Luthor variant, and an incentive Jim Chung Batman Who Laughs variant. Deathstroke number 43. This is brings us to the finale of the Terminus Agenda. There's going to be a regular cover as well as a regular priced variant by Clayton Crane. I love both covers, but I really, really like that Clayton Crane, so I'll probably end up picking that up. Justice League number 23, this is part 4 to the 6th dimension. Our heroes have been banished to the prison planet of villains by the World Forger. Stuck with no way of escape, the team hatches a plan to defeat the World Forger and get back to their dimension with the help of a new ally. But where is Superman? We have a regular cover by Jorge Jimenez. There's also a regular price variant by Jerome Opeña. Also, who's this new ally? I'm curious to know, and will it be worth picking up this book just for that? Young Justice number 5. Jim World rips in half as Dark Opal battles the teen heroes of Young Justice. And as well in this issue, we get the secrets of Jenny Hex revealed. There's a regular Patrick Gleason cover. There's also a regular price Chris Anka variant. Transformers number 4. Prowl and Chromia are investigating the disappearance of a missing scientist in the wilds of Cybertron when a mysterious figure crosses their path. Who is he? And what does he know about the disappeared scientist? We have a regular cover. There's also a regular priced variant as well as a 1 in 10 incentive variant for this. Ogor number 1. This is a new ongoing series from Image Comics. Deep underground among the floating islands of Altera, the mystical Gogor sleeps. But trouble brews above ground as soldiers of the Damas impose their will across the land. Now, a young student named Armanu must awaken the Gogor and begin his quest to protect the culture of Altera. Walking Dead number 191. This is the last stand. Words are spoken. Alliances are broken. All the trouble that's been brewing in the Commonwealth finally comes to a head. Champions number 5. This is going to be a War of the Realms tie-in. 
And in the midst of it, Scott Summers returns. Cyclops reunites with the champions all grown up. We have a regular Kim Jacinto cover. There's also a regular price Max Lem Marvel Battle Lines variant. Cosmic Ghost Rider destroys Marvel history number three. Cosmic Ghost Rider becomes an X-Man and he acquires the Phoenix Force. There's a regular cover by Gerardo Sfino. There's also a regular price variant by Declan Shelby. Major X number three. With the existence threatened, Major X has no choice but to leap through time to save it. Marvel Tales Avengers number one. This is going to reprint Avengers number 16 from 1963, Avengers number 57, and Avengers number 264. It's going to have a regular cover and an incentive virgin variant by Jen Bartel. Savage Avengers number one. This is going to have Wolverine, Venom, Elektra, Punisher, and Conan the Barbarian. There's going to be a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular David Finch cover. A regular price Mike Diodato teaser variant, regular price Scotty Young variant, regular price Blank variant, an incentive Kim Jacinto variant, an incentive Simone B. Anchi variant, an incentive Lionel Francis U variant, and an incentive Mobius Hidden Gem variant. War of the Realms number three. This contains the epic story from Marvel. It's going to have a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular Arthur Adams cover. There's a regular price Marco Cicchetto Young Guns variant. A regular price Giuseppe Camincoli Connecting variant. Regular price International variant. There's a regular price Marvel Battle Lines variant. An incentive Greg Horn Van variant. An incentive Victor Hugo variant. An incentive Billy Tan variant. And an incentive Arthur Adams Black and White variant. <laughs> Hashtag danger number one. This comes from Ahoy Comics. Three scientific adventures face strange creatures, lost civilizations, and supernatural threats. That is, of course, when they're not too busy being complete jerks to one another. Rejected the Unwilling. This is the follow-up to the first rejected book by Stan Kanapka and SourcePoint Press. First book was absolutely phenomenal. Took off on the secondary market. This is a release of the next book following that, so look for this one to be popular and sell quickly. Straight Jacket Volume 2 Number 1. This comes from Ahoy Comics. Alex Wagner escaped from the psychiatric ward and now wanders the streets of Detroit in a never-ending war against the feeders. But she soon discovers that hers is a pointless war. They are everywhere, feeding on the weak sanity of mankind, and Alex faces the risk of losing her twin brother forever to the other side. So there it is. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. Question of the day. No spoilers, please. Did you see Avengers Endgame? And did you like it or did you not like it? This is Brown So Men's Comics. And I'll see you guys next time. I've been missing, I needed some personal time. Full of pictures, dimensions. I don't what you did. I mean it, I'm staying inside. Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I saw them.